Hey guys, welcome to my first video of the new year. So guys, today we're just going to talk generally about why I didn't upload it all in January. And that's basically because January is my tax, money, household, organize <clears throat> sort of thing. So in January, I look at how our savings is going, excuse me, how well we're saving, what our percentage is, um, et cetera, like that. Then I come together with my husband and we think about ways we could do it better. So generally that has to do with the stock market and like we use mutual funds, we use money markets, and then base, and then I do the stock market. When I spoke before about what it is to be a trad wife, trad, trad wifery includes your own side hustle. That side hustle can be just sort of on the, on the actual side where it just makes money as you do other things. It can be something that's very active, but you need to be doing something to increase as well. And my something is I invest, trade, whatever on the stock market. So I'm reviewing how I did, et cetera, like that. We did pretty well this year. We did 90%, which basically turned into, I took $300, turned into like 590, I think. 585 so not bad um you know we're slowly growing my whole thing is to do doubles so i'm trying to double every time um we wanted to put travel on our list and everything so i just put this picture up here because this is basically what we always want to do all year <laughs> so there's that um <clears throat> So that's why things didn't happen in January. Uh, I am generally trying to organize for the year as well. I've got one piece of paper for my tax stuff that has not come in, so I gotta track that down. Uh, and then we can do our taxes <clears throat> and uh, pay the guy, because <laughs> we don't do our own taxes anymore. My husband got tired of doing that, so <laughs> we don't do it. Um, so what have you guys decided to do in this new year? Like I said, we're going to change some of the ways we do our investing, some of the ways we do our saving. Uh, I'm going to be more vocal about certain things in my prayer life and in my just life in general. I'm trying to be more outspoken about the things I think and believe and trying to actually bring, like, if I, if I say that it's in the Bible, I have a hard, I have this really bad um, habit of saying, well, it's in the Bible, but then not being able to show you where it's at. <laughs> so I'm trying to do better about that. I'm trying to find the verses before I talk to the person. Just be more uh, prepared and things like that. So I just changed the light, uh, like one of the headlights on my husband's car. So uh, that's the other thing I've got to deal with this year is our cars. They need some repair and things like that. So I've got to get that. I've got to get the money organized for that. And I've got to get that done. There's just a lot. When you run a household and you're trying to run it smoothly with like almost no hiccups or preparation for hiccups, it takes a little bit of time to get paperwork together to figure out what you're doing and what you're going to do, et cetera, like that. So it's not something you just sit down and it's like, eh, I'll just do this. <laughs> you have to kind of think about, you know, your three pronged approach. The way I want it to happen, the way it might happen, and what happens if everything utterly fails. <laughs> so you're always ready. So that's what I've been doing. I have also been watching everything that's going on as far as the protests, as far as government starting to back down, as far as um, while we're all so worried about COVID, they're still, you know, government is still over here doing things like uh, <clears throat> trying to take other rights away. So guys, I would encourage you, if you could, to step away from the COVID conversation and just go look at what else is going on. There's a lot of times this thing where they hype it up and then they 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 press you down and they force you and stuff like that is because on, a, on another level and somewhere else, they are planning on a long-term way of taking other rights from you. This is a very difficult thing to do because it's hard to find any kind of information, things like that about what they're doing. Um, 
I would take a hard look this year about if you're a conservative person, maybe you consider yourself a Republican. I don't anymore. I used to, I don't anymore. Um, just take a look at what the Republicans are saying, doing, etc. cetera. Uh, I know a lot of people really love, um, what's his face with the eye patch. I don't. He's for what he calls common sense gun control. And as soon as he said that I was out and then I noticed that other people have brought other things to light about him that, um, it's just no good. He, you know, he's participating in cancel culture and all this other stuff. So I hope you guys have a lovely day. That's basically what's been taking up my time. I uh, am going to do this a little differently. Also, I find that as I write things down, just like the physical writing, not typing out, but physical writing, I seem to be able to put my thoughts together a little bit better. And that's what I'm going to try and do less of the rants <laughs> and more organized with uh, some information for you guys. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that this video finds you well. Remember to pray and read your Bible today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.